Hello, my name is Shadley, and welcome back for another episode of Supreme Ruler Ultimate Roman Restoration. And after the previous episode, we finally managed to annex France. And, I mean, they're still. The British are still a problem here, for the Germans especially. Not so much for me. I don't need to worry about this all that much, but I am helping them a little bit. Now, we have taken some casualties over there while trying to defend them, but at the same time. We don't need to be doing all that much military stuff right now anymore. I mean, we're starting to move some of our troops down south to the Spanish border now. Of course, it's going to take a while before we are ready to expand over there, but we'll try to take our Spain at some point. In the meanwhile, though, we are still going to expand here in Turkey. Of course, it's also going to take a few moments to actually move anything around here. There's not, it's not very quick terrain. Let's just put it that way. Oh, we lost that. Supply. Oh no. Okay, I'm just going to pull back the troops a little bit. Because of course, the British uh, capital ships are shooting uh, 60 miles inland. 60 kilometers rather, not 60 miles. Oh, and we lost more supply trucks. Lovely. Listen, we're not fighting Soviet right now, we can probably expand a little bit around here then. We've got these units over here, we'll probably take out Sivas. Same time, we do have this group. Let's start moving towards the next village over there. Right, we should be ready to attack over here now. We do have plenty of troops available. I'll wait for the special infantry or special forces to arrive there, start fight, and then I'll move in the marines to actually take out the city. Hold on. There's a lot of submarines going on. Oh! Why do they... What? Ah, oh, they're trying to land in my territory. Doesn't make any sense. And I mean, any sense. There's been some weird shit going on in this same. Okay, we captured that. We do have a little bit of troops here. That one is uh, kind of trying to repair. Not very quickly though, but... It's trying. We can send that one repair fairly quickly. Then we got these four special forces. Let's move up here a little bit, destroy the elite guard. And then over here, let's see, we could move up there. Take out the villages. Get the artillery a little bit closer. move up into the forest, clear out the garrison there. So there's probably two or something like that there, because there's nothing in there in that town. Uh, so there's some pretty sick artillery over there. Which is uh, rather annoying, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so we got our submarine repaired again. Let's move it down to Dunkirk. And then we'll move it or we'll move our submarines over here again to start doing a little bit of damage on the enemy ships. If we could take on the take down the Nelsons and such, that would be nice. Because how much more do we have left in the submarine productions? Uh, some of the submarines should be done fairly quickly. We go through the forty years, that's uh, forty seven days, that's twenty two days, fifty nine days. Eight days, so we're gonna get another submarine over here relatively soon, as soon as we can make sure that we have enough military goods available. Which, to be fair, is easier said than done. Did we get the artillery? No, the artillery is over here instead. 
We could send the artillery back around there to help clear out that one because it does have four garrisons in there. Take a neutral fire from Poland. Oh, our planes, right. I presume, yeah, it is a plane over there that's taking a little bit of fire. Speaking of Poland, okay, so this is still open there. I mean, one thing that I could do is I could send in the special forces or something and some artillery over there. It's going to take a while before they arrive there, of course, but we could start clearing out some of the Poland for the Germans. Like, at least this pocket and maybe get a Krakow or something like that. Or get a, a line along this river here. And along this river here, or clear out this pocket entirely, but that would help them a fair bit. Because I'm not sure even how much troops the Germans have, or how much they are producing. Let's destroy a garrison there. Do we have... Because those troops are ready, so we could technically start attacking here. Could move down the artillery over there. Maybe clear out the garrison there. Clear out our flank and then start defending over here. Stop the enemy enemies going through there. Of course, if we can capture the port, then these troops are going to be trapped. Which is basically what we're trying to get. But it may take a few moments. So, we have apparently cleared out this one. Time to move up there to start destroying the garrison. It says that there's no garrison, but I don't believe that. We get the okay, the artillery is able to move now. I'm taking some fire from. Oh, I just you shouldn't have any supplies there. Okay, so I'm gonna send this group to be repaired first of all. We have another special forces unit that we will move down. Actually, we'll start gathering them up over there in Nancy, and we'll. Take all the special infantry that we have, all special forces, rather, that we have over here. Let the Marines be preparing for the assault on Spain, but the special forces, which isn't actually all that many, if you ask me. Right, it wasn't Nancy. So get over there. Do we have any... Got some fiats over here. We'll send them down south, I suppose. I don't suppose we've gotten any. Probably not. We don't need to use these ships anymore here. We can start preparing for clearing out some of the coast there, I suppose. Okay, that infantry is going south, but that's fine by me. Hold on, that fighting is uh, over here, isn't it? Yep. Because we destroyed half the garrison there already. We have plenty of garrisons here, which is going to be a bit problematic. Oh, and they got research centers there that we are now building. Well, that's probably part of the expenditure that we are experiencing here. Actually, no, stay there. We need to a bit conservative in our supplies usage. Because these troops, oh, they already have a problem there. They don't have actually supplies coming in that far. Not yet, anyway. It'll take a while before it actually reaches that far. So if we pull back, we should be able to resupply our troops a little bit. Yeah, we do have supplies there, so that is being used for the troops now. We'll do another attack there once we've rested it a little bit. Right, so how's the... Oh, we're fighting over here. And who's offering me... They're offering to buy... Consumer goods again. Yeah, I'll, I can sell that. I don't think it's actually... Yeah, it's not even all of our sales, but it does give us a bit better price. I'm okay with that. Oh, 
Right, so we can force them back over there. We can move in 18 in Kazoo a few. Or one hex closer again. Spanik isn't supposed to be a very bad place to be in. Or very bad place to capture, I'd just say. Now the reality might be a bit different. So the military uh, demand is now a thousand per day, or a thousand tons per day. Still not great, but it's certainly better than what it used to be. Now we got another research. Oh, a design completed. We got the transport plane. Are we actually cr building any transport planes? Because I don't remember. Those are certainly interceptors, tactical bombers. Strategic bombers. I don't actually think we are building any transport planes right now. And we haven't actually built much new planes anyway. Not in a long while. There we go, that's another pretty unit to destroy. Let's have a look at the total losses so far. Oh, total losses. There we go. So we have the third largest losses because, I mean, French have surrendered. Well, I mean, I suppose French are the biggest one there. Or, like, one of the bigger ones. UK has lost a half a million men. We've lost a lot of troops for the shore bombardments and such. Then, Germany has lost almost 2 million men. China has lost 2.7. Poland has lost almost as much as Japan, which is a bit interesting. But yeah, we're not doing all that bad. I mean, we've killed the most... Actually, no, Japan has killed more units than we have because of China, for the most part. Actually, I think they are also fighting some other people, but I don't think they've done a huge progress there. Oh yeah, they're fighting pretty much all of America. At least by the looks of it. I mean, we can go through the... There's a lot of uh, colonies there, but... Oh, they're fighting United States, USSR, UK, China, and a lot of the Central American smaller nations and such. Okay, so they got the work cut off for them. They have fought a fair bit against the Soviets by the looks of it. Hmm, interesting. Oh, and into China is now independent as well. They are part of the Allies, unfortunately, but at least we don't need to worry about them right now. So we are pulling the enemy back. Let's have a look. Could Kazoo take over that? We can send Athen to protect the blanket a little bit more. Oh, yeah, we captured that. We get the artillery within reach. We might be able to bombard the enemy ships there. At the same time, I believe we got some fighting to do in... Turkey again. Uh, not necessarily huge amounts, but... Oh yeah, we can move these troops up there again. And we did capture the place over here a long while ago. How do we move up this way? Start clearing out these two villages. Of course, that is going to give us... Oh, we lost another supply truck. Let me guess. It's in Netherlands. No! Oh, bollocks. Well, of course, they start firing on the bloody supply trucks. How did they do this much damage on that one tank? Okay, Kazoo, go for repairs. Over there. Athian, what you're gonna have to do is move up there, destroy all garrisons, leave none alive. We're gonna have to force their ships out of there. Valiant and a Nelson over there, that's not great, but we've sunk two of the ships already out of the three that there were. We can send an unsunk down south a little bit to give a bit of a hand here. Right, we can capture the port. We may need to pull back because I'm expecting that. To oh god, that's a lot of units. Yeah, uh, let's pull back. But we destroyed the ships. That's what is important right now. 
All of Adrian's troops retreat. And at least these two need to go for repairs. The rest might be able to hold on for a while. These troops, why don't you entrench over there actually? We can move the artillery up this way. All those things can move down south again to give a bit of a hand there. There we go. They do have a fair bit of troops still in here. But with the help of artillery, this should be doable. Not bad is our... Uh, the goods demand isn't that bad. Still not great, but it's not that bad. Take a neutral fire from Poland. Oh, yeah. They didn't kill us yet, so that's good. Now, have the special forces arrived? No, they have not. Now, I don't suppose we are repairing any more troops here. We have repaired the battle group 5. Right. Is there anything... Uh, we'll keep them in Brussels as a bit of a response force. We're going to respond on enemy threats there. We can move in our submarines to blockade over there a little bit. So if they try to send in more troops or retreat the troops, we can sink down the ships. At least some of them. Now, how is the fight in Yugoslavia? Oh, still doing alright. We can move Unsung a little bit closer here. I'm going to move this group down this way. If we move them over there, we can then stop any enemies moving in towards north. And then this group can eventually clear out the garrison there. we are having some shortages, of course, but that is part of the course. Oh, they're sending another unit. I mean, heck, artillery might even destroy the port in there. You never know. Now, they had a lot of troops in there. I'm not sure if we actually destroyed all that many, but at least we are currently kind of blockading that, so they won't be able to send more troops down here. And once we get Kazoo's troops repaired, which the majority of them already have, we can send them back down here. Capture that one. And uh, then eventually go capture that one again. Although we could use Unsung to capture that one first. Or the infantry to capture the industrial complex there. And then attack basically this uh, barracks from at least three directions. Maybe four. And that should be enough to clear it. Then we're going to pull our troops back a little bit and let the Bulgarians expand there. Right, how's the situation here? A lot of the troops are rather weak, but they have gotten a little bit of their strength back. These troops did destroy the garrison by the looks of it. They haven't got on a new one, but it's not as strong. This group should be able to take out that one. Did we get any new research? Not really. It was the plane design that we got. Japan is offering us coal. Sure, we'll take that. Um, yeah, those garrisons are going in rather quickly. I mean, these troops are so somewhat ex uh, experienced. Move up there. Then we can probably go and capture that one just in case. Right, so we've got this group of artillery here. We can probably go clear out that one without losing too many units. Or at least I hope so. Okay, that marine needs to fall back already, but the remainers, the remaining army should be fine.
Right, how the troops assemble in France here? Slowly. Then we can send that army to more Eugenia to Poland. We can start clearing out some of these pockets here. I mean, honestly, taking out that one might not be a bad idea. Okay, the troops do have supplies in there. So it's just once the day changes, we should be fine again. Technically, I might be able to, if I take Ankara, I might be able to force them to surrender. I'm not sure about that, but it might be possible. Also, these troops, I'll probably take out that one now. Because that does increase the demand for military troops again, which is less than ideal. Right, so we destroyed that. Unfortunately, we didn't capture it. So that one's maybe captured it now. Oh, I think our submarines over here are doing their job. Uh, sounds about right. I'll leave to that. Very much sounded like submarine firing. Alright, it's Kazoo's troops. Yes, Kazoo's troops have been repaired. What about Athian? Seems to be. Gather up the troops. Let me see. Could we... If we move up here, we might be able to destroy them. Especially since the garrisons, if we are fighting from the open ground, and our troops are mostly hard targets, they need to use the heart attack instead of the close quarters attack that they'd get if we were attacking from the forest. So in this case, uh, attacking from there is probably a better option. I don't think we've gotten any new troops. We've got some artillery over here that has been there for a while. But that's about it. We do have these infantry units. We can probably move out here a little bit. It will be repaired eventually, but it's not very quick around there without a barracks. Move up there. Did we... we did capture that one. We can probably move up there and capture the next one as well. I don't think there's going to be a huge amount of defenses left there. Right, so we captured that. How about we move back into the town? We can move in the artillery over there. Special infantry might be able to take out that one, but I'm not quite sure about that. At the same time, we can move in the marines from here to help on that. Don't think it's going to be too bad of a problem. Right, do we have the troops available here now? Do we have six units of special forces? That should be enough to clear out at least a little bit. Right, let's uh, move out there, I suppose. We'll start in there, then we'll take out maybe that one first, then Poznan, and then that one, then Breslau. And then clearing out the remaining of the pocket one city at a time, while the Germans hopefully can keep them a uh, bit busy over there instead. Let's move in the Marines and the Special Forces. We are capturing that, excellent. How bad is the demand right now? It's not great, let's just put it that way. Oh, social services are costing us a ton of money. We'll probably lower the family subsidy at least a little bit. It's going to save us a tiny bit, and then maybe the healthcare a tiny bit. Law enforcement needs to be high. And I think infrastructure is probably a good thing to be rather high, but we can probably lower that to 30 million without having too big a problem. Just cutting the cost a tiny bit. Hungary and New Zealand have signed ceasefire. Right, I'm going to move the Marines over there. We're going to start moving these special forces down this way to help clearing out this. Because there's a lot of towns in here. Once we capture that, we're going to start repairing troops over there, though, which is excellent news for us. Right, so we captured that. Time to move up 
back down here. But yeah, so far so good. I mean, the pocket over here. Which town is it anyways? Please. Right. Doing alright, but we are unfortunately out of time for this episode. So if you enjoyed this, please like, like comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, check out the links down below in the description. But other than that, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.